Hey, que la que hay, mi gente. It's Rocky here from SpeakSpanishFaster.com. And I got a treat for y'all today. Yo estoy en la cocina. Estoy cocinando. Y quería grabar este video para ti. Para enseñarte cómo hacer el arroz con gandules, empanada. Tú sabes, cosas boricua. Mira, yo quiero que ustedes vean lo que estoy haciendo ahora mismo. Estoy haciendo empanada de queso. De queso porque yo soy vegetariano. Y también, mira, mira, eh, estoy haciendo arroz con gandules. Yo les voy a enseñar cómo lo hago. Primeramente, tenemos que cocinar, o sea, hervir los gandules. Déjame enseñarte. Yo no puedo encontrar el paquete. Pero, espera, espérate, espérate, espérate. Ok. Estos son los gandules que tiene que comprar. También hay estos. Pero estos no son tan frescos, ¿me entiendes? Como estos son... Mira, yo puedo oler esto. Mira. Ok, yo estoy muy tranquilo. Tú sabes, rulay, tranquilo en la casa. Este, pero yo te quiero demostrar cómo que yo hago la, empana, la empanada. O sea, empanadilla. Tú puedes llamar, llamarla como, como quieras. Ok, espérate. La rompí porque yo no estaba prestando atención, ¿verdad? Tenemos la, la pasta. We have the shell right here. Then, what I like to do, take a little olive oil. Y después, voy a meter un poco, un poco de, de queso. Tenemos queso. Esto se llama casi, cacique. You just want to make sure que dice que perfect, perfect fried or like, you just want to make sure it says that you can fry it. Now, I'm not saying this is how all Puerto Ricans make their empanada. I'm just saying this is how I do it. I'm vegetarian, so I only do cheese. But, you know, pa, para, para la persona que comen pollo y carne, claro que sé cómo hacer, hacer la empanada de, de carne. O de pollo, o de marisco, de lo que sea, es simple. En vez de meter queso, tiene que meter pollo, o sea, ¿sabes? Ok, ahora yo estoy haciendo esto con el tenedor. I gotta push, 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 B. Ustedes me pueden llamar Chef Rock aquí en la casa, ¿ves? Chef Rock haciendo empanada. Ok. Mira, estoy sudando. Hace calor afuera. Hace calor con cojones, papi. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Y mira, no tiene que ser perfecta. Mira esta. No es tan perfecta, pero está bien. Ahora tenemos tres. Creo que voy a cocinar como sé, porque solamente estoy cocinando para tres personas. Ok, so para la gente que no sabe, el arroz con gandules es un plato típico de Puerto Rico. And that's what I'm going to be making today. All right, it's one of my favorite things. In English, it translates to rice and pigeon peas. So as you already saw, I have the gandules, um, the, boil, the ones you have to boil first, and they're already... Um, I think they're done, like, boiling. You only have to boil them for a few minutes. Damn, I'm gonna check y'all. They smell really good, yo. They smell like, I just picked them, like, they, they smell mad good, bro. Ahora, vamos a empezar a hacer el arroz con gandule. Esto aquí, el sofrito, es el alma secreta. All right? Now, I can't give you my sofrito recipe. Um, but... You're not making real arroz con gandule. Uh, shoot, you ain't making your real Puerto Rican food unless you have sofrito. All right? So maybe one day I'll do a little video on, you know, cómo hago el sofrito. Pero para este video, yo no te puedo decir cómo, cómo lo hago. Okay, so basically what I do is I like to put it in these ice 
tray, these ice little trays. So that way, when it's time to use them, I just pop out two little cubes. Y eh, estamos ready. Okay, hoy vamos a cocinar con el aceite de canola. I think some people also say de, de colza. Pero sí, yo digo canola. Canola oil. Now, I'll be honest. Usually, usually when I'm cooking, personally, I use olive oil. I like to eat more healthy. But since today... We're going straight up typical Puerto Rican meal. You know, we use the fatty oils. And they just, I don't know, it's just everything cooks better in those. So, I only use this once in a blue moon. I don't really cook like this often with this much oil and all that stuff. But today is, you know, it's a little party. So, we're we going to do how we do. Puerto Rican style. Ustedes van a ver. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to pour in a little oil. I like to just cover like the bottom of the pan. As you can see though, that's like a lot. That's a good amount of oil. All right, for the rice, basically the pan. And the first thing I do is I just throw in the sofrito, two cubes. And I'm gonna let that cook down just a little bit. Okay, so como puede ver, el sofrito está co cocinando un poquito. Si tú quieres saber, ¿Qué es lo que está por dentro del sofrito? Like, what is it made of? Hay mucho cilantro, este, cebolla, different types of peppers, ajo, garlic. Let me turn this down a little, it's cooking. And we just whip it, whip it up. Okay, next, vamos a echar un poco de salsa de tomate. I don't really measure. I just put, put a little bit in there, not too much. So I like to get a little color. Some people might say, oh, that's burning a little, but... I like it to get a little color because that helps with the color of the rice. So the rice looks more orange. All right, so next, leche tres taza de agua. Now, some people put the water in the end. I like to put it first because it kind of prevents the bottom from getting burned. Like you want to you want the bottom, you don't want the bottom to burn too much. Um don't get me wrong, we want um, pegao, which in Puerto Rico is the, the rice at the bottom that's kind of crunchy. We call it pegao. In Dominican Republic, we say con con. But if it burns too much, then you're going to have a burnt taste. So that's why I like to add the water. So next, I put salt, pepper. Sorry, I missed that. Um, then here we have cumin. Uh, oregano and then of course tenemos sazón that's for the color so boom okay acabo de echarle tres taza de arroz el arroz de goya I like this medium grain or even short grain um that's the kind of rice I like for this. Now we're gonna put the gandule por encima. You don't wanna to stir too much though, just like a little bit, all right? Next, let me put, these are some chopped olives, Spanish olives. Okay, so now, mientras el arroz está cocinando, vamos a cocinar las empanadas. Mira, cuando estás cocinando, tienes que realizar diversa tarea al mismo tiempo. All right, you gotta be able to multitask. That's the only way you're gonna get your food on time. All right, to get everything done. So what else are we gonna eat with this? I'll probably cook some plátano maduro. So if you know what those are, those are plátano, but they're the sweet kind. 
So we're going to have some plátano and then probably a salad. Porque todos nosotros somos vegetarianos. So that's what we're going to have today. I probably won't show cooking the plátano or any of that because it's pretty simple. You just, I just buy the Goya ones today. I just bought the Goya ones. I just put them in the pan with oil. <laughs> so pretty simple. Plus this video is already getting kind of long. I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't want to take up too much of your time. All right, so todavía estamos esperando a que el aceite se caliente. Y después vamos a poner la empanada. Podemos chequear. No, it's not hot enough yet. All right, look at the rice right here. It's looking good, looking good. All right, so the, the water's pretty much evaporated. So I put it, just put it on low. Now, I'm just going to stir it. I'm going to put my phone down real quick because I need the other hand. All right, so I stirred the rice just a little bit. And this is what it looks like right now. So, voy a taparlo. Okay, la empanada están cocinando. El aceite está ready. And these don't need much time. So, I'm not going to film too much because I need to make sure I don't mess them up. But don't worry, I'll show you the final. Okay, aquí está la primera. La segunda está cocinando. Y el arroz todavía está cocinando. It'll probably take like 20 minutes for the rice, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, something cool. I had some extra cheese, so I threw it in there. Ahora tenemos queso frito. Queso frito is really good too. Um, and I had some extra, so I figured why not. I'm heating up this oil para hacer los lo, lo plátanos más duros. Y como pueden ver, están aquí de Goya, todo de Goya. <laughs> um, so, still waiting for the rice. The rice should be done in like five minutes. So, by the time I'm done with these, the rice should be done. Now, again, yo sé que muchas personas me van a preguntar, Yo, do you eat like that every day? Yo no como así todos los días. This is like once in a blue moon. Like I said, we got family here. So I'm cooking a little bit. And this is how we like to party. <laughs> so, no, I don't always eat like this. I, I usually eat very, very healthy. But sometimes you got to splurge, right? The platanos are just about ready. So my food is about ready. Okay, mira esto. El plato final, we got the empanada, queso frito, plátano maduro, arroz con gandules, ensaladita. Muchas gracias por ver este video. Muchas gracias por apoyarme como siempre. Honestly, I didn't even plan on filming this. I started cooking. I was like, you know what? Let me show them, you know. And it ended up turning into a whole video. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. All right. Definitely hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking to improve your Spanish, you already know what to do. Go to the comments. Click speakspanishfaster.com slash YouTube. I put it in the comments there. Go check out my three secrets to learn Spanish faster. Also, if you enjoyed the video, do me a big favor, hit the thumbs up for me. Comment below, let me know what else you need help with. Anything, you know I got you. Last but not least, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Hasta la próxima vez. Hablamos.